This is Jason Gabriel with Mount Baker Mining and Metals and I wanted to take a video today of our 16 inch by 24 inch jaw crusher module. It's got a vibrating hopper up top. Falls right down into the jaws. And then the crushed material comes right out the bottom up the stacking belt into a pile. Right now it's set for about inch and a half minus. Here's a look down the jaws from the vibrating feeder. We put a, a grate on top to protect from any rocks coming, coming up and out of there. finished crushing our pile. There's our 30 tons right at the bottom of the conveyor. The jaw crusher did just great. Sat up there and ran all day long. Took us about three hours to crush the pile. Here's looking down the jaws after we finished crushing our pile and it just pretty much wore the paint off them. They're still in great shape. The manganese jaw plates harden over time. So the, the more you crush, the harder they get. And they are flippable, so when the bottom half wears out, you can flip the jaw plates over and get a, another lifespan out of them. Here's a little bit closer look at the stuff we crushed. About inch and a half minus, it's a whole mix of quartzite, granite, basalt, greenstone, nice. All different rock types, hardnesses. This jaw crusher can actually be set to discharge a little bit smaller than this. Go down to about one inch. 
and up to about four inch. Today we're going to run two different samples for you through one of our 16 by 24 drop crusher modules. We're going to take a look at this one first. These are granite grave markers and a lot of times the fabricator will have pieces that get little nicks on them or they get damaged or there's some sort of screw up they need to crush them up and recycle them. These things are 12 inches wide, 24 inches long, and 4 inches thick. So that's going to be our first one. We're going to crush it down to about 1 inch, 1 and a quarter inch minus. This is our second sample. We're going to run these two separately. This is countertop scrap and quartz stuff from granite fabricators. We're going to run this through the vibrating hopper so you can see how it reacts in the hopper, down through the jaw crusher, and out the discharge conveyor. So I'll run these two and we can take a look at the results. We get requests to crush lots of different things uh, through our jaw crushers and one of the customers wanted to crush recycled glass bottles first to reduce the volume of them which it does by about three or four times but also to allow him to uh, magnet out any steel or use an eddy current to flip out any aluminum pieces that may be in his glass bottles so this is a really cool one to do for us and uh, listen to that glass crush just it just sounds uh, really cool.
so this is, uh, again, about a 50 horsepower Perkins engine that runs this unit. It's a water-cooled uh, engine, and it's a four-cylinder diesel. We've installed an over-center clutch here, so you can start the diesel, get the RPM where you like it, and then engage the jaw crusher. Um, the, the starting procedure, I'll go through it real quick, and then we'll actually get it started here. So you get the key going, you have the glow plugs. I like to start it up and get it about 12 to 1400 RPM. Engage the jaw crusher, so it's a little bit easier on the clutch. And then you uh, use the throttle up here to increase the RPM of the diesel until the jaw crusher is running about 275 to 300 RPM. And on the RPM gauge here on the, on the engine, that's about in the 2000 range. Here's the fuel tank, so you can fuel. It's a diesel tank, about 15 gallons. We have the battery under here. And then walking down this way, this is, this is really uh, essentially a standard 16 by 24 jaw crusher other than uh, the power that to run the jaw crusher. And then because this is going to a place where there isn't any uh, three-phase power, the customer is going to run the two electric motors, the one vibrating motor here, which is one and a half horsepower, and then the two horsepower conveyor motor are still both three-phase. So we've actually installed a phase converter here so that he can run off a single phase 220 volt generator that you can buy um, at any hardware store. And uh, you put single phase power into the phase converter and it generates three phase power to the two uh, three phase motors. This uh, phase converter is rated for two to five horsepower. And that's important because you have to turn on the conveyor first to get enough power being used by the phase converter to then run the vibrating motor. You can't run the vibrating motor first. You have to turn the, the conveyor on. So you turn the conveyor on first, and then the vibrating motor. To vibrate the hopper. So with the diesel uh, engine and then the, the ability to run off single phase power, you can really run this unit in any gravel pit or operation anywhere in the world. You do not need three phase power. And so here's the results from uh, us crushing our, our sample through the, the jaw crusher module. This again is a, a combination of uh, granite countertops and quartz pieces. Also, we had some of those big quartz boulders in there um, to, to kind of mix it up a little bit and essentially run two samples at once. But you can see that the, the crush is really nice. It's almost all under one inch probably with uh, quite a bit of fines in there. And we have the jaw crusher set as fine as it'll go on this particular machine um, for the customer spec. So um, he's really happy with the product and uh, we're going to get it shipped off to him here shortly. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions on our 16 by 24 diesel powered jaw crusher module or any of our other equipment, please don't hesitate to give us a call or shoot us an email, all of which is in the description below. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one.